So there are the flame towers that overlook the city of Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan and the host of the final round of the 2014 Blancpain Sprint Series. Coming up next, uh, coming up later, we have got the qualifying session in about three and a half hours time now. And that will be the first crucial session of this weekend. And can the 84 car there, the championship leading car, get themselves higher up the grid than the 14th place they managed in free practice two and give them a chance of uh, potentially wrapping up the title in the qualifying race tomorrow morning. If not, it'll all go down to the main race tomorrow afternoon. Some action out there on the circuit. That was the triple eight car of uh, Joe Osborne running wide and just letting some of the quicker guys coming through as the tires came back in. They were steaming. There was Van Thor and Ramos having a little chat about the steering wheel. A few moments up at turn seven predominantly. And that particular moment was Stefano Colombo going wide, the 84 HTP Merck in the hands of Max Boot, got very close to the wall on the exit of turn seven. As Vincent Abril powered out of the hairpin. It was a strong performance from the 31 car, track speed Porsche, Norbert Seedler and Richard Westbrook. Great to have them in the championship and they ended free practice in sixth position. So they may well be looking strong for the qualifying that we've got coming up a little bit later on. All, both all the BMWs really were attacking the chicane and uh, Cesar Ramos was attacking the runoff area, but he managed to recover and that number one car ended up quickest if anyone. Thomas Pavoda uh, and Stefan Landman only finished down in 30th place. Your own Bleekermolen was looking quick, finishing in third. Second place though for Alex Zanardi after being quickest in first three practice, but Lawrence Van Thor in the number one WRT Audi was the man to beat. He ended the session in first place.